Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a Gemini Jets November 2018 release video. This is a jam-packed release. There's something in it for pretty much everybody. Um, of course, we start off with the ever-popular um, Air Canada Bombardier-8Q400. Uh, definitely getting one of these. Uh, looks like amazing detail. Um, new livery. Been waiting for this one for a really, really long time. So definitely look forward to that one. Next one is a good one for the MD-80 and the Allegiant fan. This is basically a farewell to the MD-80. Well, the box is going to say farewell to the MD-80. Uh, there's not really a special livery on it, but that's okay because if you love both of those uh, things, then this would be a good model for you to get. Um, next one is something that many, many people have been waiting for. Uh, a re-release of the Delta 767-300ER with winglets. Um, I'm not getting this one just yet. I may regret it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this one, people have been trying to get the old release, and it keeps getting more and more expensive. Okay, next is the uh, Emirates A380-800 in the Green Expo 2020. So you have the wreath, and then Expo 2020 Dubai UAE uh, right here. There's the, um, that's probably the logo. So unfortunately, it does not have a registration. So if you really need to have registrations on your models, you're probably not going to like that one. Next is the Etihad uh, Year of Zayed A380. It does not say Etihad on it, at least nowhere on this side. Uh, the year of Zayed 2018. And then here it is in um, Arabic. So, yeah, this one, that's... I'm not going to get that one. Uh, here we have a KLM Cargo 744F. And it does not... Don't have a picture of it, unfortunately, just this uh, rendition. And then it looks like it's uh, operated by Martin Air. Okay, next we have, this is the uh, Mexican Federalis 727-200. It will load. Uh, it looks like... They have improved the 727 mold. It looks like there are antenna on it. So that is a huge plus. It's kind of a dark blue color. Everything's dark blue. Policia Federal. And then the uh, logo. Uh, definitely getting this one. Uh, since I live so close to Mexico, it's kind of a... I wouldn't call it a no-brainer, but it's a nice, easy fit at, uh, for Central Texas. All right, next we have the United L1011-500. Now, um, if you notice, this is a PA suffix on the registration. So they United got this aircraft from Pan Am when they, when they purchased Pan Am's Pacific Division and uh, kept the registration. That only makes sense. There's a little bit smaller United titles than what um, appeared in later years. Uh, definitely getting this one. And the 500 is the shorter fuselage, uh, international range. Okay. Next, we have two other Canadian models. Here we have the WestJet Saab 340. These are based primarily out of Calgary, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm pretty much not going to get one unless something changes. Uh, very cool. Um, if you have a... Calgary Airport or just happen to love WestJet to death, then this would be definitely a model to get. This last one is definitely one that uh, people are going to want to watch. Let me check here. It doesn't give me a time limit, so maybe I'm okay. So here we have the WestJet 737 MAX. Uh, in the new livery. So 
If you remember back when the whole thing with Aero Classics, um, it's hard to tell exactly if they got this color right or not. I'm not really going to know. I mean, you could look at a, a picture of one and compare it to this. Uh, it does look absolutely amazing, though. Antenna, Wi-Fi box, uh, the whole nine yards, the uh, quintessential Gemini Jet quality as far as detail. Okay, the next one, I'm going to skip over the 1 to 200 here for a minute, is I was utterly amazed and stunned by this release. We have a B-1B Lancer uh, supersonic bomber. This is a brand new mold. Uh, if these wings move, that's going to be utterly fantastic and unbelievable. I'm definitely getting one. Uh, whether they do move or not. Um, but if they do, that's just, I'm going to freak. So look forward to a model review of this because when this thing comes out, I'm, I'm going to review it. So um, cannot wait to see this, this uh, particular model. All right, so next let's do 1 to 200. So we have an Aero Mexico DC-8, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm sorry, DC-9, I don't even know the difference. This is a DC-915. This is the first model of the DC-9, so very old livery, very tiny airplane. Uh, next we have the Air France A380, and I believe this is a standard Air France livery, no special decals, uh, nothing like that. Okay, now we have an American MD-80. This model, I suspect, might sell out. Um, the 1 to 400 version of this is so incredibly sought after that you can't even, you can barely find it for anything reasonable. So 1 to 200, I don't see why it wouldn't be any, any more. I mean, any less uh, popular. Next, we have the Concorde in the Lander livery. Okay, so you have dark blue and red stripe. Uh, so, yeah, this one, um, kind of the quintessential Concorde livery. Okay, next you have the Emirates 787-10 without a registration, sadly. Um very nice. Uh, the 1 to 400 version looked amazing, so I don't see why this one wouldn't be. Okay, now we have a Hawaiian A330 in the uh, the new Hawaiian livery. So you got that beautiful flower thing going here. Very, very nice. I love my 1 to 400 version of this. Unfortunately, I forgot to put it in my last airport update. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, now we have an Iceland Air 737 Max, um, kind of a new livery, so very nice. Uh, never saw the 1 to 400 version, but I don't see why it wouldn't be as nice as that one. Next is the Philippines A350 900, very nice looking one. Um, I do like the, A the A350 and the Lufthansa and definitely the Delta livery. Okay, next we have two Gemini Max. There's the C-17 in the uh, Hawaii Air National Guard. Um, very nice. U.S. Air Force, all of the markings. Very, very cool. And then last but not least is the KC-135 in the Ohio Air National Guard. So anyone who lives in Ohio, uh, this would be, that actually looks pretty cool. Nice little red uh Red stripe right here, uh, very nice. If I lived in Ohio, I'd probably snatch one of these. Well, except for the fact that it's one to 200. So anyways, guys, as usual, per all of these uh, videos, please um, tell me what releases you're getting, if any, and what you think of the release. So thank you guys so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Go ahead and 